Firefighters, canine teams and doctors from around the region are among those being sent in to areas devastated by the hurricane. This afternoon we were here as more people stepped up to help out. In Tacoma, a send off for a team signing up for a challenge. Everybody knows that they're leaving their families and for a minimum of two weeks. Busloads of first responders are being deployed to areas devastated by Hurricane Haney. Since it hit late last month, more than 230 people have died. The damage is so significant that it's hard to, it's really, it's hard to fathom. You feel for the communities. The effort to help began over the weekend with people loading up and shipping out 90,000 pounds of gear. That includes everything from uh, all the hardware and rescue uh, equipment, as well as boats and motors and everything else involved. Jim Vandertorn, a task force leader on the team, says his focus is also on Florida. The state is in the path of another powerful storm, Hurricane Milton. My folks are in Florida, so it's close to home for me. All those people in Florida were thinking about you. Juan Cotto also feels a connection. My father-in-law and my sister-in-law are down there right now. Uh, they're in a safe community just outside of Orlando, but nevertheless, it's unnerving. He's the director of government affairs at Bloodworks Northwest, where people like Dale Erickson were donating Monday. It's easy enough, and we hope it helps. As of right now, we have sent 80 units of blood down to the uh, if impacted areas. And back into Tacoma. This nation comes together and serves for one purpose, and I'm happy to be part of this. The Pierce County Department of Emergency Management says the Washington team is among two dozen task forces around the country being sent in to help. In Tacoma, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.